like it, but not for right now. Because I don't even have on lashes. I'm just going to wear, uh, give me purse. I'm just going to wear some gloves. My regular Schmegler gloves from Too Faced Lip Injection. Where I think I'm going? Girl, nowhere. But yeah. Um, what else I want to tell you? Oh, so now that we have that out the way, I want to bring to you Dossier. You know, these are my peeps. And I'm going to share with you all a few fragrances that I've been liking. And this is Chanel Gabrielle. It comes in a box like this. And you get your little card because, you know, with these fragrances, you get iconic scents at designer quality, no markups, very affordable fragrances. You might see some fragrances um, on the website and it smells just like the original. So this is Chanel Gabrielle. I'm going to put it on this paper towel. And I've smelled this before, but... And this is like a mature, clean, it has like a lemony smell, in my opinion. But it doesn't smell like lemons. It just has a really nice smell. And this is the Floral Ylang Ylang. I like that one. And this is inspired by Chanel Gabrielle Audi Parfum. Okay, so let's see. It has top notes of lily, grapefruit, black, blackberry, the middle notes, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, and the base notes, musk, orange, blossom. Is that what I'm smelling? Is that orange? No, that's that jasmine. Yeah, so that is one of the fragrances, and I'm going to bring you the other two that I really, really love. The next scent is this one right here, which is Flora Marshmallow. And this is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Let me tell you the top notes. It's Marshmallow, Neroli, Bergamot. The top, the middle notes is Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, and Oris. The base notes is Amber, Vanilla, Musk. This, this smells so good. But I don't wear it by itself. I always pair it with something. I could wear it by itself. I'm just that and love with this is my second bottle y'all i love this fragrance this is a 1.7 fluid ounce it has that magnetic top on there and it just works for me i usually pair it with basically everything because it's one of those fragrances i can use it as a base and i can put on something if it's because this is like it's not fruity it's like kind of sweet like mm, sweet like like a warm sugar and to balance it out I'll get something like maybe something floral or, or the next fragrance that I'm choosing for this month is Ambery Cherry and I need to wear this a little bit more. Ambery Cherry is I think inspired by Tom Floor Lost Cherry. This fragrance smells exactly I don't own it but I've had like samples and whatnot of it. It smells exactly like top for lost cherry it smells really good i never paired lost cherry with um floral marshmallow because it has like that sweet smell in my opinion it smells really really good you smell real nice when you wear this but i would love to pair lost cherry with something like in the floral family and i'm like i just do what works for me and if i like it i'm gonna wear it it doesn't matter but yeah guys shout out to dossier for hooking your girl up with more fragrances and yeah i hope you guys check out my i have a coupon code so you need to when you shop use my coupon code down in the description section of the video and yeah you won't be disappointed so thank you dossier for sponsoring this here portion of the video bye what's up y'all so i am finally home i had went to bible study um earlier and i stopped at italian fiesta to get some pizza but i guess great minds think i like because when i got home look what he bought cheese pizza
pizza. I mean, sausage pizza. But he bought the sausage pizza. I got the Italian Fiesta cheese. Let me show y'all the goodness. Looks delicious. In the order of wings. Okay, these are the buffalo wings with the ranch dressing. And then you gotta say your coupon. 15 coupons. Okay, you get $10 off. I gotta save those. All right, guys, I'm about to eat. I'll see y'all later. Hey, guys, welcome back. I have an unboxing for you all. I was sent some shoes from this new company that reached out to me. I never worked with them before, so I figured why not. They sent me a, a box, a Adidas box, and it is, as you see, some Yeezys. Um, I own a pair of Yeezys. I'll show you those. They ju they just fit, and I don't like shoes that just fit. So I ordered a what did I? I usually wear 42, so I ordered a 43. So these are the Yeezy Boost 700 V2. I tried them on. Yes, I'm sorry. I tried them on, and they were they were a little bit too big. But I'm gonna still share them with you all. They are some really nice shoes. I was thinking of wearing them with some jogging pants, but girl, these shoes are too big to me. Well, I'm gonna try them on with some socks and see. But they're huge, okay? The color is gorgeous though. Very, very gorgeous color. Really, really nice. I love the like gray. These are really nice. I love the color, the gray, and then you have that suede, and you have that charcoal gray mixed with like a taupe color is it taupe or cream no it's not cream it's like a it's mainly like gray but it has different color grays this looks more on the cream side i just like this shoe on the bottom it just has adida with the slip resistance really really cute they have um so many so many shoes to choose from these are the yeezys ortho light and they're supposed to be like really comfortable and whatnot but this is a really really cute shoe guys i am gonna try them on i'm gonna try them on with some socks that don't match because i was going i'm gonna be wearing some boots later on um later on today i don't know if i want to wear this shirt now, this sweater now i was gonna um Let's see, I'm gonna put these on. Some socks, and I'm gonna try them on for you all. I wanna see if they are too big or not. The tongue feels like a microfiber type of material. Yeah, yeah they are too big. It feels like if they would have sent me a 43, I would have been good, but these shoes are really comfortable that's the main thing all right guys so these are the um the shoes they are big so like i said these uh shoes are very comfortable i love the way they feel on my feet the only thing about it i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 they make my feet look big <laughs> um i would have liked if they would have just gave me my right right size but with that being said it is what it is i'll probably be giving these away to somebody that is in need of some shoes i'm gonna bless somebody with them and with that being said i'm gonna show you my other yeezys i'm gonna show you my 
my other Yeezys. I really, really like this color too. These are gorgeous. But, um, and these were a size 42, which says a eight and a half. But they run small. They run small like a half size. So that's why I went up to a nine thinking that I will be a-okay. Bugger, bugger. I don't know, something about it is just way huge. You can see the difference. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is like the shoe that I normally would rock. And these are it. But not only, it's just much wider too. If you can see that and longer. Yeah, it's longer by that much and they're wide. So I don't know, girl, what was going on, but oh well. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to your girl's channel if you like any of these shoes because they don't sell just Yeezys. They sell all types of um, gym shoes. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. Just make sure you order your correct size. Make sure when they're sending you out the shoe that they're sending out the right size and with that being said i'm about to get off of here i thank you for watching this portion of the video all right bye bye it's brandy giz i am back sharing with you all what i'm up to just got off of work and um what else was I say? i'm headed to what's that place called Alta. i cannot find my eyebrow pencil I don't feel in my eyebrows all the way just in the sparse areas and I had just bought one from uh, Wet n Wild I like that but I cannot find that eyebrow pencil for nothing I looked all over so I don't know what I did with it I might have threw it away by mistake I don't know but it wasn't expensive and it, I don't know what I did with it so I'm just gonna go back to Ulta and get two more and make sure I put it up but yeah guys that is all that's all that I'm up to just working and gonna run to also really quick can't wait for Friday y'all so that is what I'm up to I'm gonna um turn the camera back on once I get to also I'm gonna sit here and listen to something okay I see y'all Okay, so I finally came to um, Alsa. And I see they have a conditioner. I'm not kind of sure how it works, but I hope it smells good. I'm not gonna buy the hair oil. That's a little bit too pricey for right now. I didn't even come here for this. I came here for these. So I'll be right back. What's up y'all, it's your girl. I'm back on your screen and I just got in from running to Ulta to pick up that eyebrow pencil that I was telling you about. And on the way back home, I'm driving down Pulaski and they have this huge, look like, it's like a big truck. It's not a moving truck, but it's like a, I can't explain, but it's a white truck. It's really big and they have a lot of perishable items uh, groceries and stuff and so um, I've been seeing it when I like drive on that strip on that street but um, you have to be in the right lane to get it because you just board your window down and then put the perishables in your car but so I was like let me just see what they have this time so I did <sighs> look they gave me this big old box so I'm gonna open it up and I'm like what is it he was like dressing dressing Gerard's dressing. So while I was driving, because he put it in the car, I put Gerard's dressing in my phone. And I see it's at our local Jewel Osco. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't need this. So I, girl, mint lime cilantro vinaigrette. Maybe somebody might want it, but uh, 
I was thankful for it, but I thought it was gonna be in them cute little jars. What is this? It's still sealed, but I don't know. It says perishable, keep refrigerated, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. But anyway, yeah, so that was what they were doing. They was giving away free um what you call that? So they was giving away free dressing. Let me show you what I picked up from. Yes, girl. So yeah, they were giving away free dressing and usually I would see them giving away like fruit and whatnot or like frozen foods. I was wondering why that box was so heavy. But it's just three of us. We can't, we ain't gonna use that. Okay, so also guys I got two this time I picked up two wet and wild can y'all see me because it be looking like it's dark look like it's okay it look a little lighter but anyway I picked up two more of these pencils from wet and wild hopefully you guys can see that um this is a medium brown I picked up two Cause I'm like, I don't know what happened to that pencil that I had, but we got that. Then I picked up the Touchland, the Berry Bliss. I don't know how this smell. This is a hand sanitizer. So that's what's in that box. Some dress. Like. For salad. Okay, so yeah, this is the touch line. I wanna open it up. Cause I ain't never had this scent before. Okay, it smells like berries. Yeah, it smells good. So I can put that in my, my purse. And then I bought I bought some items that I didn't need, which is the Donna's recipe. Why do I keep buying shampoo and conditioner? <sighs> anyway, the Donna's recipe, this is like, I think Tabitha Brown is affiliated with it. But anyway, it's the Donna Donna's recipe by Tabitha Brown, sweet potato pie, extra creamy, moisturizing conditioner, rich and sweet, made with real sweet potatoes, stirred with vanilla, and sprinkled with warm cinnamon. Perfect hair recipe for nourishment and moisture for the hair and scalp. I'm gonna see how this smell. I got the seal on it. How much was this anyway? I have no coupons. Fifteen dollars a piece, and the Wet and Wild is four seventy nine. The Touchland is ten dollars. We gonna see how this um, moisturizing sh conditioner smell. It do smell like sweet potatoes. This smell, girl, like a pack, like a. But I don't, let me say. That's true. That, that smell good. It's not the kind that be, you be like annoyed by. It. No, this is good. This smells good. You won't be annoyed by your hair smelling like this. Because it'll smell good if somebody like hug you and they smell your hair. This smell good, girl. Oh my goodness. Let's see how the shampoo smell. This is the shampoo, the extra creamy moisturizing shampoo. It says it, it's the same. So let's open that up. And girl, it was only one left. One conditioner and one shampoo. Yeah, this smells like vanilla. Like, this smells really nice. It's it's a warm, sweet. This is good. I think I'm gonna like this. Yes. So I'm glad I got that. Cause that was all that was um they didn't have a lot. So yeah guys, that will be it. I don't have much to talk about, girl. 
that is it that is all um i'll probably come back to you if i don't you guys i hope you all enjoy it's one of these short vlogs because y'all know i'll be working and trying to film maybe a lot but uh, for the most part i'm glad i'm gonna go in here because i had oh so yeah i'm gonna get off of here i'm so hungry i'm gonna go wash my hands and um i had went to patillo's they have really good ribs i like friday's ribs because i like the jack daniels sauce but i was at patillo's with my mom i took on some errands and everything i didn't film that i took a to panera bread then we went to patillo's and i got the ribs it comes with a salad a bread and something and fries so i'm going to share with you all my ribs and that's what i'm gonna have ribs and salad I'm gonna come back and show you my plate, but they ribs are really good. Let me show you how what they come in. Hold on, guys. You remember the Tabitha Brown vegan plant sausage that I had? I had like two. I bought one. I want to try this. I might eat this on today. Well, I'm gonna say this for me. My husband devoured these, so I'm assuming he really likes them. So this is the vegan plant-based sausage with mushrooms, and the other one I think had like cilantro in it or something, but. It was really good. Now, this is the salad that they give you, a house salad. But they put cucumbers. It's just, you know how some salads be just okay. But this one, it it tastes really good. So whatever they put in it, they make it really, really good. And this is the box that the ribs come in. And they just, they just put it in foil. I'm going to heat it up because if I show y'all, y'all be like, ew. But I only ate a little bit on yesterday. And they give you an extra barbecue sauce from Chilo. So I'm going to heat this up really quick. Wash my hands. And I will be back to share with you all my plate. Y'all forgot that I was going to come back to you guys and show you my food. I mean, it ain't nothing but some salad. And then I have my rib. Well, this was actually my son's plate. But he already ate when he came from school. And I put in some of these... Uh, hash brown sticks but they taste like french fries and a piece of bread i'm gonna eat his plate and if i get home i'm gonna eat some more all right girl let me watch me some youtube i'll talk to y'all bye what's up y'all so i am back girl i finished eating them ribs and everything i ate my salad a piece of bread i don't mind eating leftovers uh this I have more left, but I don't want any more. I'm good on that. But um, I had looked in the refrigerator and I just realized, girl, I still got that caramel water that my um, co-worker Jasmine had gave me. It's the pro probiotic water, the berry cherry. Um, it says push cap to infuse. So you have the probiotics on top. You take this little seal off, I guess. And you, we're going to try it together. Well, I'm going to see if this is good. Let's see what it says. It says the undiluted truth is digestive health. Probiotics and kombuchas and other premixed drinks deteriorate over time. But karma patented. Am I saying that right? Patented. Y'all know what I mean. Why can't I say that word? Patented. <laughs> it's been a long day. Protective push cap guarantees that our proprietary uh, blend of essential vitamins and cultures is delivered at a peak potential. I, that don't even say peak. It says peak potency. Believe karma. Hashtag believe karma. 2023, I'm going to use my benefits on my job and go get me some glasses. Because this is not good, girl. I be saying stuff that I ain't even there. So it says it has 2 billion active probiotic cultures, right? 100% of six essential vitamins included A, B, and E. Only 20 calories. It's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, and it's vegan. And lactose-free. So we gonna try it, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna take this seal off. I'm gonna bless this in Jesus' name. Take any impurities out that don't belong. Let it be fit for this temple in which you reside in, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Uh, put that over here. Okay, so, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna push this. And it should release. 
just release it in inside. Am I doing this right? That's what's shake it up. Girl. Okay, it's going in there, girl. Just let's open up like this. Okay, y'all, yeah, we're gonna try it. Okay, it does taste like berry cherry. It does have a like a little aftertaste. But it's not bad. I thought it would be nasty. Cause I don't really like them kombuchas and whatnot. I don't know. But this one does not taste bad at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely drink it all up because it is healthy for you. So not bad. So shout out to my girl Jasmine for hooking your girl up. Thank you for I don't know where they sell it, but I was told that they sell it like a Sam's Club. Someone told me all these Walmart. So check it out, y'all. It's the Karma Water. But I'm gonna get off of here. My husband is home, and um, we about to watch a movie. So happy Wednesday to y'all. All right, I'll see y'all. Love y'all.